The inner core of the Earth is 9,400 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, the Earth is massive and it's basically a flaming hot ball. So why are we not actually using all that heat to just simply generate our own energy? Well, there's a good reason. The Earth's crust is quite thick and previously it was hard to drill through, but that might have just changed. And if it has, as this company is claiming, then this is the secret to unlimited, virtually almost free global energy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate your support. And it's wonderful to see so many new subscribers to the channel. I'd love to see you at Fully Charged here in Australia, in Sydney. It's the world's biggest electric car show it's going to be on a few times during the year in 2023 but i'll be at the sydney show in in march and then again i'd love to see you in london in april and also in october in san diego in los angeles is this the key to limitless clean energy a startup reveals a plan to drill a hole 12 miles deep to tap into the geothermal heat hidden beneath the earth's crust u.s startup Quay's Energy will attempt to drill the deepest holes on Earth. Its co-founder said there's enough geothermal energy to meet humanity's needs for about a million years. Geothermal energy is a renewable energy source taken from the Earth's core. If you think about it, we pretty much have a sun, kind of while well, we're all sitting on it, we're all standing on it, maybe you're jumping on it, maybe you're, I don't know, doing something else on it, could be doing anything. The point is, there's a whole lot of heat here and we just ignore the fact that it even exists. We're basically walking around on this molten ball of hot rock. So why not use it? Well, tapping geothermal energy supplies by drilling down 12 miles into the earth can more than meet humanity's energy needs, says a US firm. Matt Howard is co-founder at Quay's Energy, a Massachusetts startup that will use a special drilling platform to vaporize rock to tap geothermal energy. The heat beneath our feet could provide enough energy, enough clean renewable energy to meet the entire world's needs quite easily, says this company. Hood, who is co-founder and project manager at Quay's Energy, outlined the technology while speaking at a TEDx conference in Boston this month. The total energy content of the heat stored underground exceeds our annual energy demand as a planet by a factor of a billion, said Hood. I mean, that's a boatload of energy. So tapping into a fraction of that is more than enough to meet our energy needs foreseeable future. It's unclear where the first hole will be drilled or how much the technology will cost. Although reports suggest it could be several billion dollars. That said, that's not very much money. When you think about it, that's about what people pay to drill holes for new oil wells. So it's actually, when you consider the amount of energy that could be harnessed, very cheap. Quay's Energy aims to have its first drilling platform live by 2024 meaning only just over a year away and the first wells producing up to 100 megawatts of geothermal energy by 2026 and fossil power plants repurposed by 2028 delivering clean energy around the world and that's the greatest thing about this point currently when fossil power plants are shuttered because you know there's better cheaper sources of energy right now such as solar and offshore wind well they just sit there and go idle not the case for these guys this year it's already secured 52 million us dollars in funding to help it get the drill the first drilling rig off the drawing board. The firm's first plant is likely to be happening in one of the western United States, such as California, Oregon, Washington, Utah, Colorado, or Nevada, but it aims to bring them all over the world. They said, our current plan is to drill the first holes in the field in the next few years. While we continue to advance the technology to drill deeper, we will also explore our first commercial geothermal projects in shallower settings. Quace Energy was spun out of the MIT Plasma Science and Fusion Center in 2018. And the drilling technique has been developed at MIT over the last 15 years and has been demonstrated in the lab by drilling a hole in basalt. The system works by first using conventional rotary drilling to get one 1.8 miles or three kilometers down to basement rock, a layer of crystalline rock lying above the Earth's mantle. It then switches to its specially designed drilling platform that generates massive high power millimeter waves, close to microwaves in the electromagnetic spectrum. Quay's energy uses a gyrotron, a high power linear beam vacuum tube that generates the millimeter waves 
to power its platform. Three millimeter waves along with high pressure gas are injected through a pipe all the way down to vaporize the rock. The rocks turn into ash and are transported back to the surface by gas for removal. Vaporizing the rocks at extreme depth allows Quay's energy to reach temperatures up to 900 Fahrenheit or 500 Celsius. Currently, the deepest hole that's been drilled to date, the abandoned Kola borehole in Pechensky, Russia, reaches 7.6 miles deep. It took 20 years to drill the Kola borehole because conventional equipment like mechanical drill bits can't withstand the conditions and the heat at those depths. The truth is, we'll need hundreds if not thousands of Kola boreholes if we want to scale geothermal to the capacity that's needed for the entire planet. However, the firm's gyrotron machine that produces the millimeter wave energy is not actually new. It's been used for around 70 years in research toward nuclear fusion as an energy source. Now, if you haven't seen my video about the discovery of the United States government working out nuclear fusion, which is a landmark in human history, I'll put a link in the description below. Make sure you check out that video. Millimeter waves are ideal for the hard, hot, crystalline rock deep down that conventional drilling struggles with. They are not as efficient in the softer rock closer to the surface, but those are the same formations that conventional drilling excels at. According to Hood, there are multiple benefits of deep geothermal energy in general, especially compared with other energy sources, even renewable ones. Geothermal energy is renewable, of course, it's inexhaustible, and it's available absolutely everywhere. And it's the only renewable solution with the potential to get humanity to net zero by 2050, claims the company. Unlike solar and wind, geothermal energy is available 24 hours a day, meaning battery storage isn't needed. And this can help balance out the intermittent flows of wind and solar. Deep geothermal plants will also have a minimal surface footprint, meaning they won't need much land compared with wind and solar, just a hole. It also has a scalability similar to environmentally unfriendly fossil fuels, allowing scientists to put it on the grid very, very quickly. Geothermal energy is already in use in areas where pockets of naturally occurring heat sources are close to the surface and in easily accessible locations. I mean, for example, you see in countries like Iceland, other places, New Zealand, etc. there's hot springs that have bubbling hot water coming to the surface. And obviously there's a lot of heat very close to the surface in those locations. And those locations are actually scattered all over the planet. The problem is for them to be viable, they also have to be close enough to a power grid, making geothermal power plants relatively rare. Currently, geothermal supplies about 0.3% of global energy consumption. But Quay's Energy believes its technology can increase that figure rapidly. The company also plans to use its drilling technology to repower traditional power plants, saving huge amounts of money in infrastructure costs and making use of the current oil and gas industry's workforce. Hood did admit that there are still several challenges that must be solved to scale this technology all over the world, such as gaining a better understanding of rock properties at great depths and advancing the supply chain for gyrotrons. Here's a quick summary of how this all would work. Deep geothermal energy is at the core of an energy independent world. It is the only renewable solution with the potential to get us to net zero by 2050. It is renewable, inexhaustible, and it's available everywhere, says the company. Now I'm not making these claims, this is what they're saying. A gyrotron power drilling platform vaporizes boreholes through rock and provides access to deep geothermal heat without the need for complex and expensive equipment and decades of drilling. Based on breakthrough fusion research, and well-established drilling practices. This is a new approach to ultra-deep drilling. First, a conventional rotary drill is used to get to basement rock. Then, higher power millimeter waves are used to reach unprecedented depths. This will allow drilling to reach depths of up to 12.4 miles below the surface, where temperatures reach 900 Fahrenheit or 5 100 Celsius. Deeper geothermal is more universal as it can be tapped into anywhere on earth and then linked directly to power stations. Hotter geothermal has more power density than traditional near surface geothermal energy, meaning if you go deeper, you get more heat and therefore more energy. At these temperatures, geothermal is so powerful that it can repower most fossil fired power plants all over the world. This is potentially a game changing solution, but it's just one of many. If you wanna know about all the game changing solutions or all the big things that are coming to the world when it comes to renewable energy, including the world's biggest wind turbines and the incredibly low cost of the most recent solar tenders, make sure you stay tuned to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching.
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye-bye.